love you. Oh, I love you too. Really? You mean it? Oh, I mean it. Oh, mm -hmm. Hi, this is Jill from Simple Daily Recipes. Or you may know me as Jill from Simple Daily Recipes. Okay, you're in for a treat. Homemade vegan dinner rolls and oil-free. Yeah, how does she do it, you ask? Well, easy. I just leave out the oil and cross my fingers that it all works out. And guess what? It works out. I have made a homemade dinner rolls recipe video before, way back in 2011. Way back before I ever knew of any movie called Forks Over Knives. Way back before I had any idea or ever heard of a whole food plant-based diet. At the end of this video, I want you to see what I look like way back in 2011 and uh, compare that to how I look today, baby, in 2015. Let's get started. Okay, so I need to get my unsweetened plain non-dairy soy milk or non-dairy milk, soy milk, whatever, heated somewhere between 105 and 115. And I need uh, like a cup and a third of that. And then two and a fourth teaspoon of yeast. You know what? I don't know why I'm telling you what the exact ingredients are. I have written all the ingredients down at the end of this video and in the video description below. So just look there and copy and paste and do whatever you have to. Okay. So um, basically you're just, I'm dissolving the yeast in with the milk and the salt and sugar. Not a lot. And give that a little stir. And then I'm adding the flour. And I used whole wheat flour this time. You can use any kind of flour, but I like whole wheat flour. And then just put that in your electric blender and get that to spin until the until all that makes a ball and comes away from the side of the bowl. Now this is kind of sticky. But you don't need oil to get this, you know, free. I just wet my hands with water, and that just helped me pull all the dough right off the paddle. And then I used my hands and just kind of formed a ball. Like that. And then I recycled one of my produce bags and just used that to cover my dough. And then I let that sit uh, in a warm place for about 45 minutes. Ba -da. And then um, 45 minutes later, I went ahead and got my Breville Smart Oven heated up. And I set the, and in this Breville Smart Oven, it's a convection oven too. So I had to just set the temperature for 375 and let that preheat for a few minutes. Okay, so here's my dough. And what I'm going to do is with a little bowl of water, I'm going to wet my hands so that my hands don't get in the dough, don't become one. And with wet hands, I'm just going to make one inch balls of dough and just gently roll them and drop three balls to a muffin uh, cup. And I like using silicone muffin, silicone baking bakeware because I don't have to use oil when I use those. And you just, you know, keep making those little balls. And this is larger than one inch. So what ended up happening is I was like one cup shy. Or I had one cup that didn't get filled with dough. But the, the recipe really does make 12 dinner rolls. I just made these dinner rolls really big. Okay, and then you just bake those anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes. Now, my old recipe would have said, you know, butter the tops and drop coarse salt on top. And you could do that if you wanted to. Um, I'm trying to keep oil out of my life, so I just left that off. So because of that, um, the tops don't get golden brown, but they do cook all the way through. And in this convection oven, this took about 13 minutes to cook these uh, little dinner rolls right up. They're good. I got a little browning, but not, not as much as if I'd used some kind of, you know, butter on top. And then I popped that other one in. And see, it didn't make 12 rolls this time because I made such large balls for each cup. And of course, these, this silicone pan makes a really large muffin cup, so that's why I kind of came up shy. But check these out. Yum, these are so good. 
You know, notice when I uh, started pulling the dough out, I didn't punch down the dough and knead it. I just started pulling and f shaping the dough and throwing it in the muffin pan. Now, this is a yeast roll, but the texture is really like, is really just a soft bread and it has so much flavor. It's so good and we love these things and they're best eaten hot. And um, once they cool down, they kind of harden up. So you'll want to, um, you know, uh, heat them up in the microwave to soften them. But they are good, baby. They're good. Mm, yummy. All right, I hope you give this recipe a try. Uh, and let me know um, how it turns out for you, okay? All right, check this out. This is me in 2011. 141 pounds. This is, uh, I don't remember when I, what month this is, but yeah, yeah, look at me. Oh my gosh, look at those arms. I was growing a thick neck. Look at that chin. Oh my gosh, I was fighting so hard. I thought that all this weight gain that I was experiencing was because I was, I had turned 40, but that wasn't the case. It was what I was eating, but this is me today. you like that that's a big difference i think quite a, quite a bit of difference uh if you're curious as to wanting to know how much i weigh i am i am very proud to say i weigh somewhere between 112 and 115 and i hover right in there just just i'm never like one exact weight but i just kind of hover between those two numbers and my weight has stayed like that for three years yeah once i started eating a whole food plant-based diet um my weight dropped and it just stayed right there. I haven't had like, you know, big fluctuations or anything like that, like that because I've been eating, you know, just whole food, plant-based foods. All right, I thought you'd get a big kick out of that. If you want to talk about eating a whole food, plant-based diet or you want to pick my brain or whatever, well, that'd be kind of gross. Unless, I mean, if you're a zombie, I guess you could pick my brain. All right, give this whole made dinner roll recipe a try. Let me know what you think. And we'll talk about this recipe in the comments below. Bye.